Coach Polarity here, CAD Level 5, on shape for VEX Robotics. Today we're going to see how to import parts from a parts library into our project. Um, all the projects we've worked on up to this point have had all the parts already in there. That's not normally how you're going to be working though. You're going to have to add parts to a project. So let's start with a brand new project that we create by ourselves. So go to create and we'll give it a name. Whoops. Level five project. And unlike all the other projects we've worked on up to this point, there's nothing here. There's, um, there's a couple, there's an assembly one, but it's empty. There's a part studio one, but it's empty. We'll learn more about part studios later. I'm going to delete this one. There is, we have used assemblies before. We're going to rename this one. We're going to call it wheel assembly. Okay, we still don't have any parts though. Um, so we need to add parts to this project. But before we do that, why don't you pause the video and get caught up. I'll give you a few seconds for that. That was easy, right? But well, you're still awesome. Now we're ready to add parts to our project. If you're in an assembly, then you should get an insert button in the upper left. And it opens up a dialog where I can search for parts. First, I can search for parts in the current document. There isn't anything in this document, so there's no parts to search for. And uh, if I go click on other documents, I can search for any of my projects, any projects that my team um, my teams have created or teams that I'm a member of have created and I can even search on public so I can search all the way across everything on Onshape and that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to look for something called VEX parts lib or library short for library. Um, let's see what's out there. So when you do a search it does take a few seconds uh, for it to go, you know, it's going all the way across everything in Onshape to find anything that starts with parts, VEX parts lib, and this is the one I'm looking for, VEX parts lib 2021. Click on that, it opens a document. I can see what parts are inside that document now or inside that workspace. So pause the video, search for that parts library, and then open it. You got it. Look at you. So here we are with the parts library open. Um, so I see parts studios. And if I scroll through here, I see lots of things. Um, here's one by three C's in aluminum. If I click that little carrot, it opens that up and I can see that there's a lot of different sizes of one by threes. Um, and I could pick the one I want. I can see a picture of it too. So that helps a little bit if it's small. Um, but that's not what I'm looking for right now. I'm looking for spacers. So here's spacers. And if, now remember I clicked that carrot to open it. And once I open it, I can select the spacers that I want. I need one of these quarter inch spacers. I need a three eighths. Actually, I need two of those. And I need two of these and I need two clear washers. Okay, I think I have all my parts. Click done. And I can see my parts listed over here. Some are on top of each other, so I'm gonna move them around so we can see them more easily. There's a quarter inch, three eighths, and two of those. So I have all my spacers. You know what, I forgot to get my omni wheel, my shaft, and I also need a shaft collar. So I'm gonna to need to do that again. Press insert, other documents. And I could search again, but I can also look under recently opened. And there is that parts library. Because I recently opened it, it's in the list. I don't have to search for it. That was a lot quicker. Let's look for that. Uh, shaft and a shaft collar. So HS shafts, that means high strength shaft. That's not what I want. I want regular shafts. And I'm looking for a four inch shaft. Just need one of them, so that's good. 
Now I need a shaft collar. Where do you think shaft collars would be in here? Hmm, I don't see anything obvious. So let's take, let's search for it. Um, and just by typing shaft, it gave me anything that starts with shaft. These are high strength, high strength. I've already looked at shafts that didn't have any shaft collars. Maybe it's under here under small parts. Oops. Instead of clicking the carrot over here, the little arrow, I clicked on the name. And so instead of giving me, um, instead of getting the individual part that I wanted, it got every single part inside that folder. Well, um, we can take, we can handle that though. So we're going to say OK. And now I can see all the different things that it added here. It added bearing plates. There's my four inch shaft. I wanted that. But I didn't want any of this stuff over here except for the shaft collar. So I'm going to select all this and delete it. And now I have my shaft collar. I really wanted two of those though. So what I can select this, say copy shaft collar and paste shaft collar. Now I have two. And where's my four inch shaft? It's on there somewhere. There it is way up there. Let's slide it down. Um, oh, I still need an Omni wheel. All right, we're going to go back in again. And recently opened. I don't see any wheels here. And the reason why is all the things that are in a part studio are individual parts or atomic parts. So this is one part. Each of these things are one part. Um, I do see uh, flex wheels here because it's just one piece of rubber, but I don't see any Omni wheels. And now that I think about it, I don't see any electronics either, like the brain, um, all that's missing. Where those are at is under assemblies. So assemblies are for parts that are really um, multiple parts together. We think of this as an omni wheel, like a three and uh, a quarter inch omni wheel, but they're actually each of these little rollers on here is a separate part and so is the ring that holds everything together and there's a metal piece on each one of these so an omni wheel can have like a hundred parts we don't want to bring in a hundred parts one at a time let's just bring in the whole thing um, and i see something here called four omni that looks like what i want what's the difference between that and this i wonder i'm going to add them both and um, we'll find out what the difference is so i got my two omni wheels but while we're looking at assemblies let's see what else it so i see all types of wheels in here. I see anything that's related to electronics. This bi-directional cylinder is a pneumatics part. So all the pneumatics parts are in here too. So there's basically three types of parts that are in here under assemblies. Um, wheels, pneumatic parts, and electronics. So if you're looking for any of that stuff, um, look under assemblies. Um, just because of the way things are done in Onshape, there are no folders for these. Um, there, you just have to scroll through the whole list to see them. Fortunately, the list isn't very long. So let's say OK. And now I have my wheels. I have all the stuff that I need. I got a 4-inch Omni and a 4-inch SQ Omni. And I wasn't sure what the difference is. Let's see what the difference is. All right. If I zoom into this Omni wheel, I see that the center hole is open. So that's um, with a hole that size, you can take a, um, a high strength shaft. The other Omni wheel that says SQ has the square insert in it. And so it's already set up so that you could, it, it can take a, a 1 8 inch shaft instead of a, a high strength shaft. So that's the difference between those. Um, and because they're uh, assemblies, the whole thing moves around together. So if I, when I select any part on here, the whole thing moves. I don't have to worry about pulling this part out of the uh, assembly. Okay, I have all the parts that I need. Oh, we actually don't need this part though, so we're gonna get rid of that. Now that I have all the parts I need, um, I can put together a wheel assembly, and you already know how to do that. All right, let's give you viewers some time to get caught up. Use that parts library to go out and get an Omni wheel, a four inch shaft, um, all of those spacers, and the shaft collars. All right, I know you did it. Fantastic. So that's how you get parts into your project. There are other ways to do it. Um, right now I'm recommending that you always get your parts from a parts library or from an existing project of your own. 
Um, like I said, there's other ways to do it. There's other parts libraries that are out there, but not all of them are going to have the same information. For instance, if I go to the bill of materials, this one will always have, this parts library that we used will always have names for each of the parts um, or a description. Some other parts libraries you're going to get an omni wheel that will display a hundred different parts in the bill of materials and they'll all be like part one, part two, part three. Um, you don't want that, so if you use this parts library, that won't happen. Um, I will try and keep it up to date too, but if there is a new part that comes out and it's not in the part library, um, you can just send me a message within Onshape and, um, and I'll add that part to the part library. One other way that, that I've seen uh, people use parts libraries is like this. Um, they start by opening the parts library so the parts library itself is a workspace and it's got all the parts in here so um, each of these so there's a folder here called structure and you can see there's uh, the beams are all there the C channels they're all on top of each other um, and what I've seen uh, people do is make a copy of this I'm not recommending that you do this I'm just showing you how it's done and then telling you not to do it uh, but we're going to make a, a copy of the parts library and then we're going to um, build our robot in the same project as the parts library. Notice that it says copy and workspace and it's really taking a long time because a parts library has hundreds of parts and so it slows down the whole system when you do it this way. Um, so your project doesn't isn't going to use 35 different sizes of C, uh, one by five by one C channels, um, like we have in, in here. Um, and so it just makes the whole system go much slower. When you go to add a part, it's already in your, in your uh, workspace, which is convenient, but it's, it slows the whole system down so much that it's just not worth it to do it that way. Don't do it that way. Create an empty project. Don't start with a copy of the parts library and um, add parts from the parts library as you go. Looks like this is going to take forever, so I'm not even going to wait for it to, uh, to finish copying the workspace. Just don't do it that way. Let's go back to our project that we were opening before. We call it Level 5 Project. There it is. Notice that one opens very quickly because we don't have a bunch of stuff in there. Um, so for now, I'm going to say that's how you get parts. And I have all the parts that I need to create a wheel assembly now. And you may be thinking, I already created a wheel assembly. Why don't I just copy the wheel assembly that I made for that other project in here instead of starting from scratch? And yes, you can do that. And we're going to do that in level six.